pray for your blessing upon our worship this morning. We pray you'll lift our hearts and minds to you and that we may worship you in spirit and in truth. We pray we may come to worship you in love, with prayer, through prayer and with hope. Good morning. Welcome to our service. This will be a service of morning prayer and it's lovely to be joining with you again. And you can access this service either via our Facebook page uh, or where you'll find the order of service or you can follow it in the Church in Wales Green Gwedi uh, Daily Prayer Brook which is also available online via the Church in Wales website. And the service is once again bilingual and do please join in with whichever bits you would like and particularly the ones that are in bold and I hope you're going to sing along with me with the hymns as well. Give me a hand. And we're going to start with the first of those hymns now, the hymn All My Hope on God is Founded he doth still my trust renew, me through change and chance he guideth, only good and only true. service begins on pages 18 and 19 of daily prayer. 
gras a thangnefedd eich chwyr oddi wrth ddiw ein tad ar arglwydd Iesu Grist. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to offer to him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive his word, to bring before him the needs of the world and to seek his grace that through his Son Jesus Christ we may give ourselves to his service. Huedod Yesi, a gochamin cantav eu, grando o Israel, ar arglwydd ein diw yw'r unig arglwydd, a chaar ar arglwydd y ddiw all holl galon, ac all holl enaid, ac all holl feddwl, ac all holl neth. Ar ail yw hwn, cad y gymadog fel ti dy hun. Nid oes gochamin arall mwy na'r rhain. And so we keep a moment of silence while we think of those things which we seek to bring to God's attention for forgiveness. <clears throat> so let us <clears throat> let us confess our sins to the Father and seek his pardon and peace. Almighty and merciful God, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart, and we have not loved others as Christ loves us. We are truly sorry. In your mercy forgive us. Help us to amend our lives, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Goddeed i ddiw hollall liog, sy'n maddau i bawb sy'n wir edi beirio, drig a har o sych, a rhyddhau o bechod, eich cadanhau mewn daioni, a cadw yn y bawi tragwyddol, trwy Iesu Grys dein harglwydd. Amen. Service continues on pages 24 and 25 of daily prayer. Arglwydd agor ein gwefusau, an genau a fynegad y foliant, gogoniant i'r tar, ac i'r mab, ac i'r ysbryglan, fel yr oedd yn y dechrau, y mae yn awr, ac y bydd yn wastad, yn oes oes oedd. Amen. Keep a moment to reflect on the day ahead and to dedicate it into the hands of Almighty God. Early in the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Yr oed yn llyfari yn fynhalon ac yn dweud ceisiaf o wyneb. Am hynny ceisiaf dy wyneb o arglwydd. Crist trigaha. Crist trigaha. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord my strength and my Redeemer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The psalm for this morning is some verses from Psalm 119. We're going to say together verses 129 to 136. And you can find the psalm in daily prayer on pages 596 and 597, and I shall say it in English. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The opening of your word gives light, it gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and draw in my breath, as I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, 
as is your way with those who love your name. Order my steps by your word, and let no wickedness have dominion over me. Redeem me from earthly oppressors, so that I may keep your commandments. Show the light of your countenance upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes run down with streams of water, because the wicked do not keep your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first book of Kings, chapter 3, verses 5 to 12. A dachliniad cantav o lafir cantav a bren hynoedd. Ymddangosodd yr arglwydd i Solomon yn Gebeon mewn braidd o'i liw nos a dywedodd diw gofyn beth bannag a fan i gennyf. Dywedodd Solomon Bi os yn ffadlon iawn i'm ta Dafydd dy was am iddo rodio gyda thi mewn gyrionydd a chafiawnde a chawirdeb calon. Ie, parheais yn ffadlon iawn iddo, a roi iddo fab i eistedd ar ei osedd fain cedil. Yn awr o arglwy fyniw, gwneithos dy was yn frenin yn lleif yn hard Dafydd, a minna'n llanc i fanc, dibrofiad, a cymau dy was yn chanol dy ddewis bobl, sy'n rhy niferus i'w rifo na'i cyfryd. Felly, ro i'th was galon ddeallus i farnid fobl, i ddirna da a drwg, oherwydd pwy a ddichon farnid y bobl li osog hyn. Bi'n therbanion yn holog yr arglwydd i Solomon, ofyn y peth hwn, a dywedodd diw otho, oherwydd i ti ofyn hyn, ac nid gofyn i ti dy hun flanaddoedd lawer, na chafoeth, na ein i oes de lanion, ond gofyn deall o rando achos, gwnaf yn ôl dy eiriau, roddaf i ti galon ddoeth a deallus, Fel na byd y fath o'th flaen, ac na chafed chwaith ad o ôl. Dyma'r aer yr arglwydd, diolch a ddoi ddiw. Shall now say together the Gospel Canticle, the Benedictus, from Daily Prayer on pages 28 and 29. The wedum gidan gilid a cantical or a vengil a benedictus. Bendigedig vadur arglui thu Israel, am iddo am weld a bobl a prani rathid. Cordov waradigaith gadan in i, an hi david e was. Belleth levarod troyen aibra foidi sanctae, an aroisoi da vi. A llw a dangoth wrth Abraham ein tad, a roddau un i gael ein hachib o afael galanion. A'i addoli yn ddiofn, mewn sanctau ddroed a chafiawnde, <coughs> ger ei fron ef, hoth a ddiau ein bawyd. <coughs> Gwaredigaeth rhag ein galanion, ac o afael pawb sydd yn ein casau. Fel hyn y cymero drwy garedd yn ein hynafiaid, a chofio ei gyfamod sanctau. A ddithau fy mlentyn, gelwyr di yn broffoed y gor uchaf, oherwydd byddin cefed o flaen yr arglwydd, i baratoi i loibrau. I roi yw bobl wybodaeth am waradigaeth, troi fyddai yn teu pechodau. Hyn yw trigarydd calon ein diw, fe ddaw ar wawdd ddydd o ddi uchod un plith. 
i lewechu ar rai sy'n eistedd yn y wellwch cysgod angau, a chyfeirio o ein traed i ffordd tan nefydd. Gogoniant i'r tad ac i'r mab ac i'r ysbryd glan, fel yr oedd yn y dechrau, y mae yn awr ac y bydd yn wastad, yn oes oes oedd. Amen. Ar ail dalleniad o lythi'r pawl at y rhyfeiniaid. The second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Romans. This is from chapter 8, verses 26 to 39. The Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn within a large family. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will give any charge, who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies, who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the Church. Thanks be to God. And enur tad ar mabras briglan. Amen. One important concern during this lockdown has been how to make sure that children do not lose out on the learning which needs to continue if they're going to develop into well-formed adults. There's so much for them to learn, and of course there's a certain charm in the things they come up with from their limited knowledge. Take Mindy's letter to God, for instance. Dear God, my teacher says the days get shorter, then they get longer. Can't you decide? Thinking of children and their need of learning and knowledge, but wisely realising that he, in common with all of us, needed to learn and understand so much. Solomon said to the Lord in our first reading, I am only a little child. I do not know how to go out or come in, even though he was probably in his twenties at that time. So he asked God for wisdom. 
Of course, he was already showing himself to be wise in realising that there was a great deal which he still needed to find out and understand. At this time of reopening our church buildings, we may feel that we don't know how to go out or how to come in, how we can safely reopen our doors with a one-way system, social distancing and other measures to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. For some, it may seem a daunting task. The first thing we need to do is to realise our need for God's wisdom and support. Solomon described it as galon reallis, an understanding mind. Like him, we should look upon ourselves as little children, or eight troy adored vel plant, become like children, as Jesus puts it, realising our dependence upon God to make wise decisions, to guide and support us. We should approach God in love, meon cariad. St Paul tells us in our second reading, Gwydh on fo diw, a mor peth, yn gweithio er daioni, gyd y rai sy'n ei gari. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God. And our collect, our special prayer for today, describes God as audir a rodur popeth sy'n da, the author and giver of all good things, and prays, Plana in ein kalonai, gariad at enu, graft in our hearts the love of your name. Our love of God is simply the imperfect reflection of God's overwhelming love of us, the great and steadfast love which Solomon recognised that God had shown to his father David and we should respond with our own love, since the giving and receiving of love is what we believe that God the Holy Trinity is all about. As we read in the first letter of St John, Gavethion anoil, gadelchini garien gilith, o herwith o dhu a mai cariad, ac a mai pobin sin cari, wedi e eni o dhu, ac an ad nabod dhu. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Paul declares in our reading that the love of God is so great that nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Ein gwahani ni odi uthgariad tu, and Christ Yesi ein hartloi. That love shown supremely in Jesus giving up his life for us on the cross. Having approached God in love, we need to seek his guidance through prayer, Troy Wedi. Just as Solomon asked God for an understanding mind, since he was only a little child and did not know how to go out or come in. So the author of Psalm 119, part of which we have just said, traditionally thought to have been Solomon's father David, using similar terminology, asks God, Tro atav a bidrigarog, an old arveri rai sin carid enu, cadu van ham and sicker, vela a bewaist. Turn to me and be gracious to me as is your way with those who love your name. Order my steps by your word. As we step back into our church buildings, we need to look for God's guidance, recognising, as Solomon did, our dependence as children upon God our Father, who is described in our collect as Arglwydd Pobnedd a Chadernid, Audira Rodo Popes sin da, Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things. If we turn to him in prayer, he will nourish us with all goodness, Maithani Afogdayoni, opening 
our churches is a step-by-step -step process and so with the words of Psalm 119 in mind we ask God to help us to do this in the right order. St Paul reminds us that God is present with us through his Spirit and that if we in love and through prayer turn to God realising our dependence upon him the Holy Spirit will support and guide us. For a my rasprid and ein conathoyo and ein gwendid, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. The Holy Spirit speaks to us through prayer and meditation and through the study of Scripture. As the psalmist puts it, Pan that gidiera de ayer, bith and goleo, the opening of your word gives light. So as we step forward in love and through prayer, listening to God's word, we can be filled with hope. Geda Gorbeis. Solomon asked God for an understanding mind, and God gave him that and so much more. Solomon was famed internationally for his wisdom, discernment and understanding, and he had a magnificent reign. St Paul tells us likewise, O siu diu trosom, poi si the nain herbin, nid ar bedod diu e vav e hin, ond e dradoddi i farwolaeth trosom ni od, ac os rhoddodd e vav, sit a gath beidio ar roi po peth i ni gydag er. If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Our reading from Paul's letter to the Roman Christians is full of hope and encouragement. Are we unsure how to pray? No problem, the Spirit will pray for us. Are we worried about the future? No need. We're part of God's family, Jesus the Son being the firstborn, and we're in line for glory. Are we concerned that we're cut off from the line of God, perhaps by the passing of time, or having closed our churches, or shown lack of faith in the past? Paul makes it clear that nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. A roi van gubel sicker, na ach, na angai, na keinois, na kangalion na thawiso gaithi, na preseno na devodo, na grimis derai, na ke ichel derai, na devan derai, na dim arach a greoid, ein guahani ni odi oth gariad du, and Christ yesi ein harkluid. Felly, gadewch i ni fynd ymlaen mewn cariad, troi gweddi ac gyda gorbaith. So as we step forward, let's do so in love, through prayer and with hope. We have learnt new skills from having to close our church buildings, new ways of leading worship and reaching out to those within and beyond our regular congregations. This is a cause for hope and we shall need to work out in love and through prayer what aspects of this we should carry forward with us as we seek to recover and perhaps remould our traditional ways of being a church operating in church buildings. As Jesus says in the Gospel for today in Matthew chapter 13 Verse 52. Am honey, am my poor bascrivenis, a thyth and thiscable and hernas nevoid, and debig i bech en ti, season doin athan, o i drizorva bethai newith a hen. Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. Amen.
now going to say the canticle number 36, Rejoice in the Lord, which you'll find in daily prayer on pages 184 and 185, and I shall say it in English. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. Be known to everyone for your consideration of others. The Lord is near, do not be anxious. But in everything make your requests known to God, in prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Then the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Now say together the words of the Apostles' Creed, which you'll find on pages 30 and 31, and I shall say it in Welsh. Cred Avan New Dad go hot gavoithog, creaudo nevoid a diad, credav and yesi grist, inig vab du, ein hargroid ni, agen headloid or asprid glan, a aned or vair voroi, a diodevo dran pontius pilat, a grois hoilioid, a vivaru, a cagladoid, discano di bleeds the meiru. Ar a trydydd dydd fe atgyfodod, esganodd i'r nefoedd, ac am ein eistedd a ddi hael awr tad, ac fe ddaw i farnu'r byw a'r meirw. Cred af yn yr ysbryd glan, yr eglwys lan gatholig, cam un y saint, mae ddaiant pechodau, atgyfodiad y coth a'r bawi traigwyddol. Amen. Gwedion, let us pray. Gwedion ar a ta dros yr eglwys ar byd. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of truth, unity and praise. Fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Build us, living stones, into a holy temple to your glory. We pray especially for Joanna, our Bishop, for Anne, our local ministry area Dean, and all who minister in our LMA, and amongst them for the Reverend Lorna Bradley at the start of her ministry as curate. We also pray for Broeron Midir LMA, for their Dean, the Reverend Beth Davis, for the Reverend Wynne Maskell, and all who minister there and for all the bishops of the Anglican Communion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Davanhar ein him wibidiaith, a o indod a teili dano, caniata a ni, a gir hod bobu, fiu an hi mewn cavyaunde a hedoch a hed am viriedaith. Beth banag e hil na dwylliant, e cefn dyr na e ham gilchiadau. Ard glwydd yn y drigaredd, gwrando e'n gweddi. Cleanse the prejudice and selfishness from our hearts, and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Disni i ddefnafio dy greadigaeth er gygoniant i ti, fel y gall pawb gyfranogi o'r pethau da yr oed yn eid a pari. Mae ddau ni am anhadu'r byd, am fethu a'i weff a rogi fel y dylasem. Ar glwydd yn y drigaredd. Grando Ingwedi. Lead us to love one another, 
and unite us in the service of your kingdom and each other. We pray that we may all be strengthened in our faith. May we receive the grace of the Spirit and become like little children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Netha bawb sy'n rhoi o'i hynny, a'i meder i wella rai sy'n glaf o goth, meddwl neu asbryd. Canal pawl sydd yn drechu i ddod ar rhyddhad o coronavirus. Arglwydd yn dydryd garedd, gwrando ein gwedi. Set free all who are bound by illness, fear or despair. And we pray especially for those known to us. Remembering in particular Tommy and Rosemary, Jean and Bert, Catherine, Howell, Philip and Fred. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Daro ddiwedd tangnafeddus ar llawenydd traguidol i bawb sy'n marw ath gasir y rai sy'n galaru. Gwedion yn enwedig dros Liz John ei theulu. A'r glwydd yn dydrygaredd, gwrando ein gwedi. The things, good Lord, that we pray for, give us the grace to labour for. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Say the Lord's Prayer together in the language of our choice. Our Father, ein tad, ar hwnnoit yn yn efoedd, sanctaidia de enw, Dele de Dernus, Gwenella de Wellis, Megis and an Ed, Bethi Arathai Ar Hebid, Darwin e Hedu in Barabanadiol, A Mother in e in the Ledion, Fel a Mathion Nina in the Ledwea, Aknak Arwa in e Prophetigaith, Ethe Quare Nira Drug, Cane Sedoti or Dernus, Argathi, Argogoniant, an oisoi soith. Amen. The collect for today, the seventh Sunday after Trinity. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And the second collect for peace, and I will collect am dangnefedd. O ddiw, awdia tangnefedd a charwyr cytundedd, a mae dad nabo di yn fawi traguidol, ath wasanaethi yn rhaddid perffaith, am ddiff yn ni rhag holth y masodiadau ein gylanion, fel a ninain llwyr am ddiried yn dynodded, nad ofn nhw'n allu neb o'n gwrthwynebwyr, troi Iesu Grys ein harglwydd. Amen. Ac y trydydd colect am ras, the third collect for grace. Eternal God and Father, by your power we are created, and by your love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to you in love and service of one another, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Ac avendith the best the blessing. The Lord bless you and keep watch over you. 
the Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look lovingly on you and give you peace. Arbendis du hoshashiog, a tad, a mab, a rasprigland, a voignate priest, a candrigo gedachui, and wastad. Amen. We're now going to sing our second hymn, which is the hymn In Kamba Hahida Bidarav. One more step along the world I go. Um, and you can s sing it either in uh, English or in Welsh, and I'm going to attempt to sing it in Welsh. In cam bach a hyd a byd ar af, ar y daith o hyd y gwm ni gaf, a throi bob y fwr i ddaw, Gad i mynd a'i afal yn dylaw, a cwrdd fynd o ddoi i ffwr i dewid draw. Gad i mynd a'i afal yn dylaw. Troi o gil conel i byd yr oi, am y byd cael dysgu mwy a mwy, po peth newydd wel a fi. Caf e wel i droed y lagau di, a cwrdd fynd to ddoi o ffwr i newid draw, gad i mynd a'i afal yn dylaw. Wrth i'm gerdded heb yw gwych a gael, dan gos i mi fodd fo ffar i chwal, ac os caff y rhoes tro'n llwy, rho i'm fodd nad oes o'n ti a'i gwy, ac wrth i to ddoi i ffwr i newid draw, Gad i mynd a'i afal yn dylaw. Disg i'm gar i pan fo fyd yn gas, Pan fo fyd yn greil o'n rho i'm ras, Boed y daeth yn gan i gyd, Cad o fynd o gwm ni di o hyd, Ac wrth fi to ddoi i ffwr i newid draw, Gad i mynd a'i afal yn dylaw. Hyn oed ar droed na hen fydd mawr crwn, Iau oed hefyd na y diwrnod hyn hwn, Hyn a newydd oed yn hyd, Rhoed ia fynd y gwm ni hi o hyd, Ac wrth fi to ddoi i ffwr i newid draw, Gad i mynd a'i afal yn dylaw. And now just to draw your attention to some of our announcements. All of our announcements are on the announcement sheet, which is on our Facebook page. But just to remind you that Archdeacon Dorian will be broadcasting his live service on the St Mary Magdalene and St Clare's Facebook page at 10 o'clock shortly after this service. And then at 12, uh, we'll be taking place Father Chris's final Zoom Eucharist Father Chris is retiring and we wish him and his wife Anne every blessing on their retirement. So it would be good for many of us, as many as possible, to join him in that, his final Eucharist. And you can do so by sending him an email um, as soon as possible, I suggest now, so that he can invite you along to that occasion. Or if you send an email to our Facebook page, uh, we can pick it up and pass the message on if you'd like to join in with that. That's 12 o'clock today, Father Chris's final Zoom Eucharist. And Canon Anne will be giving her weekly message live on this Facebook page on Tuesday at 11 o'clock. And then on Thursday will be uh, morning prayer at half past eight. Before we then come back to morning prayer next Sunday again at 11 o'clock. Uh, so that's the arrangements for this week, but the other announcements are on our announcement sheet. And so I wish you all a very happy week and a safe week, and I hope that all will go well with you. Thank you for joining me today. Elch and her nevid Christ, Idil abortioch.
go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you.